Hello everyone and welcome to a whole new series, possibly, who knows, what can time tell, it's Dweebo here of the Dweebros channel and I'm going to be doing a thrift haul. I've never done one of these and I have a, um, I have something to admit to you. I've been doing thrifting, yard selling for about two years now. And I think I, I want to start this video with, I want to dispel some rumors before we get into this crazy, I'm talking, this haul will shock you. This shock will, the, the shock, <laughs> this will floor you, this haul. But I want to dispel some myths as we, go, as we go through these. The first being, I've been doing this for two years. I've been going to yard sales in the summer, spring, whatever, before it gets too cold, yard sale season is about to end. I have never found anything like this in the two years of going every single weekend dur during yard sale season. I'm getting up early. I'm going to these. I'm finding some video games here and there. I've been doing that for the past two years. Nothing like this. So first off, I see other thrifter, hauler, people, whatever, doing these videos. And I wanted to dispel some myths that... I think you see these people's highlights. I think that goes for anything on Instagram, whatever. You're seeing people's lives on social media. I think this is very true for thrifting. I think people think they can go, oh, dude, this dude found a $1,000 guitar. This is not a $1,000 guitar, by the way. I could do that easy. Or you also see people going, wow, you paid freaking two cents for that. Um, and now you're going to sell it for whatever. You're a terrible person. Well, on the first thing, um, this this stuff's hard to come by. This stuff is kind of harder to come by. You have to ask. You have to go up to people. Hey, or you got any video games? Whatever. You have to be willing to interact with people and be nice to people and build relationships with people, uh, so that they know what you do. And I, again, I've been doing this for two years, pretty heavy. Um, and the number two thing. Oh, you're paying two cents and you're charging forty for it. I'm a collector. I'm a, uh, I, I'm a loser for collecting video games and making sure I, I like get the complete box of my GBA games. I just, I'm still in the process of doing that, of getting these boxes I threw away as a kid. Thank God that people are finding some of these and I'm buying from those people on eBay. I cannot like look out and go and find a yard sale that has freaking these obscure GBA games that I have or Game Boy games. So I'm thankful for those people. They went out and hunted or they had them from their collection, where they found them for good deals, whatever, I'm willing to pay. I'm happy to pay. And that's the thing. I'm selling these. Yeah, I'm making a profit on this stuff, but I'm able to type in a search bar, hit buy, and I'm done. But I'm going out, and again, it took me two years to find something that I'm about to show you. Um, so those are the two things I want to uh, dispel. This is not every weekend. This is not a bragging thing. This is actually just I'm overjoyed, and I want to share with you in my joy, because this is crazy to find. And two, um, thank you to the eBayers that uh, feed my obsession. And I hope that the stuff I find and the message I get back from people like, hey, I've been looking at it for years. Thank you. Um, it was in great condition, whatever. I'm pumped to be on both sides of that transaction on eBay. So with that, can we get into the first episode? I don't even know what I'm gonna call this yet. Um, thrift hauls. Treasure hunting? I don't know. You'll see when the title goes up, when the video is uploaded. Is this a cool title? Let me know. Let's go back to the beginning of October. I go to the cell. I'm there 15 minutes early, 10 minutes early, and I don't like to do that too much unless I know when I'm seeing the, if see a posting on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, it's like some good stuff's there. And that's kind of what this was. Hey, they said they had video games, they had, they had whatever. It's like, I'm gonna show up a little bit early. Don't like to do that all the time, but when I get there, there's already a person looking through stuff, and there are video game stuff there. So he's got his pile. He's got some stuff he's picked out. Um, I'm like, crap. But I start looking through. And what I come across is the first thing I'm finding is these Warcraft books. I don't even know. I, again, I like to collect video game stuff, keep some of the stuff, resell it to feed my own addiction. So there's some Warcraft stuff here. Um, and I'll get to the prices. Some of the stuff I have prices, I'm going to have to stop and edit and whatever, uh, look up some of the stuff. But there was a box I opened up and had, okay, there's SimCity in here. There's uh, Storybook Weaver. I don't even know some of these games, but these old floppies, 
which some of the viewers might not even know what these are, but these are old floppies in here. Um, SimCity, I think this is a bootleg SimCity. They wrote SimCity Freeland. Uh, they must have illegally downloaded that. FBI, do not come after me uh, there, but there's all this stuff, and then there was um, this that goes in, they had a buck on this, the thing that goes in the N64, I think that's probably what it's worth. Um, there's some CDs in here. Let's get to the CDs. But Warcraft, Warcraft 2, Diablo, Warcraft 2, uh, expansion pack it looks like, but these booklets. And we'll get to this price first. So when we're going through the other stuff, which I'll talk about, um, because that guy had picked over a, a, a lot of it, but he left a lot. I was surprised what he didn't grab. But we get to this stuff, and I'm like, hey, what do you want for this? Because this wasn't priced, whatever. And they said $2 for all of this in here. Because um, they were like, we, I didn't have time to go through that, 2 bucks. So I'm sure there's more worth than 2 bucks in there. So I was really happy to grab that and got the Blizzard, these booklets, whatever. But when I was going through, I started freaking out. I started seeing GameCube games, which are now, um, a couple of years ago, I would say 2013, 2014, I was finding GameCube stuff all over the place and buying all this stuff. Now there's a lot of players in the reselling game and they're just, they're buying up the stuff and it's worth more. I think people are, that grew up in this time are really wanting this stuff. GameCube's going quick. A lot of this stuff's worth a lot of money. So they had two bucks, three bucks, and I'm freaking out. I was like, I have to open this up. Open up, there's no game in there. I don't know if that guy had got it and it was in a loose like binder or whatever else. But yeah, there's not, there's no manuals or whatever. But still the cases, people still want the cases. I'm a collector, I know it. Like I said, like a, a manual for Super Smash Brothers, uh, Brawl, another F-Zero GX, but it doesn't have like the manual like this one did. Um, Mario Kart Double Dash, I think it has the manual, but no. No, it doesn't have anything, just the case. But I was still happy. I was like, oh, I'll take that. And then some a Wii booklet uh, in there as well. But I think the, the coolest things, I got this rock band guitar. They had 15 on it, dollars on it. Now, this is not what I paid. They cut me a deal from all the stuff. So two bucks, whatever. They, they took off about 10 bucks. They, they were really uh, nice about it. Um, but I was surprised the guy that was right next to me going through all this stuff left two Nintendo 64 controllers. They both had five bucks a piece, but again, the lady worked out a deal for me in the end because I bought so much. Uh, but this Glacier Blue, I don't even know what color we'd call it, and this red. Now here's the issue. When you are going out, uh, this is another thrifter tip, whatever, check the analog sticks. I still would be a sucker and if I found N64 stuff because it's so rare to come by at yard sales anymore, or they're on Facebook Marketplace for full value or even more than eBay. But I would still pick them up. But if you really want to make sure it's worth your, your time, if it's priced up a little bit, check the analog sticks to see how loose they are. This is not that bad. Some of them are absolutely destroyed. This one's a little bit looser. These things are just can really break on you, these analog sticks. They can just get too loose and warped. And there's a memory card in this as well. So that was the start of the day. And I was like, man, I'm pumped. Let's go to these next cells. The next cells that we're about to talk about is where my life changes forever. Get to this community cell, and I come up on this one yard cell. Walk up the driveway, and I see tons of great stuff, some cool Funko Pop stuff, some vintage plushes and stuff. Again, some of the stuff is not shown that I'm interested in buy and, and, and do some reselling. But... I've only had, in my two years, this is, was my second one where the person I think also did flipping, did reselling, is getting out of the game. So they know what's worth, they know what people are willing to pay for it, and they know people like me are interested. The second, yeah, second yard sale ever where the sales, like I started picking up stuff, like, hey, how much for this, whatever, and like, oh, I'll do that or whatever. But I started accumulating such a giant, enormous pile. <laughs> second time ever I did this that... I put so much stuff to the side that people thought it was still part of the yard sale. It wasn't a pile anymore. It just looked like I just moved <laughs> their yard sale items over. So people were still looking. I was like, yeah, that's my pile. That's my pile. I had to keep reminding people so they didn't walk off the stuff I picked out. I keep piling stuff, piling stuff up. And I'm like, how much for this? Well, how much for that? Oh, that's five bucks. That's three bucks. Okay. if you're buy Eventually, I start buying so much. Okay, I'll do a deal for you. So I started leaving these. And he had a humongous a lot of Pokemon cards. Now, 
Are there Charizard first editions? Holographic. Shadowless in here? Probably not. He was very honest with me about what was all in these. These are the newer cards that I don't know much about. But um, tens, these tens, all these tens are absolutely packed to the brim full of Pokemon cards. I don't actually know what I have. I'm actually going to have my friend, shout out Kenny, come over and maybe look at stuff. If there's anything worth keeping out of here, I just don't know. Um, a binder. So there's a binder. This binder's full of cards. I mean, there's some holographic, looks like rare. He said there were some rares in here. Uh, as well as uncommons and commons, of course, some commons as well. But it didn't stop coming. Like there was so much, and he had all this, and I kept passing over it because I think he wanted 150. And I just don't know much about the newer Pokemon cards to <laughs> maybe take that leap. But there was so freaking much, and I was buying so much, I went back to it. So I had all these, and I like collecting. I'm actually getting back into collecting these too. And I was like, what a way to add to my collection. Um, there's all of these here as well. Um, so I'm like, what? Oh, there's this tin is full too. <laughs> there's another, I have just, I bought all, so all these and I'm like, Hey, what would you do for these? And I'm going to look up real quick. Cause I want to be sure I, I get the exact price for you. Okay. I was wrong. He was wanting 225 for all this originally. I was like, is there anything better you could do on this? I know there's a lot of cards. I don't know what's here, but there was so much that it's like, there's got to be a deal we can work out. And he offered me that all for 150. So this is packed full. There's rares mixed with uncommons, commons in here. I looked through it. It looked nice or whatever. So I took a gamble. That was more of a gamble versus me telling you, check out this deal I got. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video to see, to pick out the rarest cards. But he said there was some great stuff in there mixed in. So for 150, that's a gamble. That's my collectorness too. I want to collect some cards I'm missing from the newer sets. I want to start collecting these. But not only that, but he said, if you're into that, check out these um, Magic the Gathering cards. And I was like, oh, well, I know nothing about Magic the Gathering cards. But again, I have someone in the inside that does know what's in there. So he came out with this, or no, he had this sitting there. So I picked that, put that on my pile. All these are full and there's some like old cards in here he said there is a handful of like some really really great cards and i was like hey how much are you wanting for these again if i get screwed this is me gambling all this stuff all that big thing is full he brought out another thing said i have an additional thing i'll bring this out too more for you 30 bucks i remember that 30 bucks for all this magic stuff again that was a gamble did i win we will see. I'll do maybe I'll do a follow-up video or if I if you don't see it, maybe I'm sad and I, I missed out. That was oh, I'm not done with that cell. So again, I'm I'm pumping so much stuff into this pile. There is so much I ended up spending the most there I've ever spent at any yard cell. I spent around $550 total, but I filled up the entire car uh, my car for that. Um, there was also he had a ton of games there as well but here's what's shocking when new systems come out it's going to take about three years ish two years three years before i start seeing the the current gen start to bleed out onto yard sales like okay people are finally tired of the games whatever but i saw, ps5 just came out i mean last year or whatever and they had two ps5 games they had um Returnal and Godfall, and he had Returnal for only 25 and Godfall for 20. We worked out a deal. I think I got this for 20, and I got this for 10 uh, because I was buying so much stuff. He just started throwing out the deals, but I also picked up. Um, he he did a great deal for this. Um, we got PS4 games, so we got Monster Hunter World and these prices. So he had three on this, five for Kingdom Hearts. These are complete, by the way. Um, the Evil Within there for five. We had the Jedi Fallen Order for ten. We had Shadow of Mordor uh, or Shadow of War for five. And he had a brand new sealed copy of Blood and Truth for five. I asked if I grab all these, would you do three a piece? And he looked at it and said, Yeah, sure. So this guy was like, if I was buying all this stuff, he was really fair with me. Uh, again, that's the second time I've had these fair prices. He also brought out a, this is kind of cracked case, but I thought I'd pick it up too. Uh, I think I spent 10 bucks on this, maybe eight. 
um, somewhere in there, Final Fantasy VII Greatest Hits. And apparently, I didn't know this, but there's two versions of this case. There is one that has, um, and I did not even know this existed, the double Sephiroth. And he was like, you know what that is? And I was like, I actually don't. When you lift up the disc thing, there is two versions of uh, this. There's one, it's supposed to be, the other one's Irith, and I have that actually in my original collection, and one is Se uh, Sephiroth. This one has double on both sides Sephiroth. I don't know if you can see that well, but both, uh, when you pick up the, the, the disc, are both um, Sephiroth. So, there's that, and he also had these. He had more. These, I think that. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So, <laughs> there's even more games. So, this is, again, the first, the second cell I've been to. Sorry. I went in that community, th maybe I went to one or two before, but basically, very early into the day, I'm stopping at this. Um, but we had Guitar Hero, uh, Fairly Odd Parents. I'll have to check real quick what this, what I got all this for. This was for the PS2 games. $7 for all of this that I'm showing you. Um, Avatar, this was a PS3 game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Finding Nemo, um, Ninja Gaiden, Guitar Hero, and Fairly Odd Parents Break into Rules. Now, some of these are empty cases. Uh, some of these. Um, Yep, so some of these are empty cases. He already let me know. This actually was free. <laughs> he just gave me the empty case for this for free. Um, so he knew, like, he wasn't, whatever. But um, let me put this somewhere. Frick, I'm going to run out of room. Um, also in the $7 lot of PS2 games, all this stuff, Resident Evil 4, this is, is this case only? It's case and manual. Only, but again, this is all in that seven dollar uh, Sonic Mega Collection for Xbox, 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 SpongeBob SquarePants. I think that's another empty case. Um, Air Force Delta Strike. This brand new copy of Boogie. Uh, you just don't see sealed PS2 games anymore. It's kind of rare. Tekken Four for PS2. Dinosaur on PS1. Classic. Uh, and then this was interesting. He had two PS4 games loose. Alien Isolation, um, and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Uh, I think I paid maybe two bucks a piece on those. Um, yep, I did two, no, I did two bucks on the Alien, one bucks for Assassin's Creed, uh, loose. So, really happy with that little haul. Um, there, I think that's it. I don't want to forget anything. Um, so that... A long, oh, I'm so goofy. There, That actually wasn't it. I'm going to actually have to stop, clear this off, and show you the biggest thing I got from that cell. Right up front, right where he was. So going through him, I'm, I'm literally just grabbing everything. I see this, and I'm like, how much do you want for it? <laughs> I should have checked, checked this before, whatever. How much do you, you want for this? And I think he had a price of 120, something like that, 125. And it's a Commodore, not a 64, it's a Commodore 1541 2. Uh, actually, that's the disk drive. It's a Commodore, no, actually, it's a Commodore 64C. Okay, I got confused. The disk drive is this, 1541 disk drive. And then down here is the actual, this is like stuck to it. This is like really been sitting on it for 8,000 years. So this is 64C. Um, I have not looked at this since I got it because I've just, it's been a crazy time, of course, getting all this stuff and other stuff going on. But not only that, but he had all of these so this is complete, and all the stuff has the box with it. This is the mouse, and the condition of this box is pretty crazy. Um, let's see if this is actually the mouse in here. Um, the mouse might actually be inside. He was saying some of the stuff to an extent. So this is all the manuals in here um, for this box. But I'm uh, but just seeing this stuff at the at a yard sale was crazy. And there was another guy kind of asking, and I was like, I think I'll just take that because there was somebody kind of interested. But I think they ended up passing. I again, I'm going through eight thousand things at once. 
but all these disk drives, I think these are all just loose games, so let's see what's on here. Testaroo 2, so they're all burnt games. You could easily kind of burn these games back in the day. Off-Road Racing, we've got um, Impossible Mission 3, um, we've got Test Drive, Alcalo Drive, and it's all these, um, the little floppy disks that, that, that they take. Um, I've never seen anything like this. I've never, if I have seen like an Intellivision or something, whatever, the person knows the entire full value. And I think this person did. And I did look up on eBay to make sure I wasn't overpaying for this. So this is cheap or whatever. But no, this is like a Commodore 64. It's a legit actual computer in here and all this stuff. And the disk drive is in here. All the manuals, um, the cords, the cables, the power cords and stuff. What's in here? So there's even more in here. Spy Hunter. Adult school. Wonder what that is. Uh, another adult school, and it's on a red freaking floppy disk. Don't tell mom. I kind of, I, I really want to plug this thing in and check it out. Um, I want to actually get it like working and stuff. I think it's just very freaking cool. I think if I pull this up, I'm going to absolutely rip this bottom. I think it's, yeah, it's like imprinted on this. It's been sitting on it for so long. Um, but if I lift this up, you can see there is a Commodore 64 in there. I'm sorry for the, how freaking bad this looks, but I didn't notice. There's a joystick in there too, I just noticed. Two joysticks. Um, and the actual computer itself is all in there. Sorry for the terrible, terrible angles, but um, yeah, they're all, let me pull this up. Oh no, I can't. Oh, there we go. Uh, so here's the disk drives and stuff. The manuals looks like some game manuals are actually in the bottom there as well. Battery stuff. Seventy-five dollars. Let me know. Did was that stupid buy or was that a cool buy? Let me know in the comments. Excuse me. Ah, it makes me burp to, when I get such old video game systems. That cell was nuts. Loaded it up in my car, and I drove literally around the corner to the next one. I was like. You know, I, I, at that point, I was like, I've won today. <laughs> I had been at that point to maybe three total cells. That first one with all the NC, the NC4 controllers and all that stuff. And I said, there, there's no way this day can get better. I turn the literal corner. And there's a cell. I pull right up 30 feet from this house. I go up. I tell the lady. Or I, I got some old film equipment or something or whatever. I picked that up and I said... And I noticed she was talking about eBay to somebody else or whatever. And I was like, oh, she's clearing out stuff out or whatever. And I said, do you have any video game stuff? And she said, as a matter of fact, I do. Let's clear the table. And I'll show you the insanity. So she says she has the stuff inside in the room. Head upstairs, open the room. Looks like an eBayer's room. There's boxes everywhere. But... There is a pile of all of this video game stuff. She said, I'm asking $300 for it. And I said, do you mind if I go through it to see what am I about to throw $300 at? She said, yes. So take all that stuff out of the room. And we got in the hallway. Now, something catches my eye in that room. We'll mention that in a second. But what we have in there, they just have a couple games. It's mostly consoles and controllers out the wazoo. We've got this Xbox wireless <laughs> adapter setup. I bet you're so excited to see that. Burnout Paradise. It's just Platinum Hits. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Bad Company. Okay. And then I think, what the heck is this? Bugs Life on PS1, baby. That's why I paid $300 for. Uh, no. Uh, oh, there's actually some more stuff. I didn't see this. Uh, Forza Motorsport. Sims for the PC. And Call of Duty War at War. Nothing, whatever. But this is what caught my eye when I saw and she's asking $300 for it. They had one complete in-box, PlayStation 1. We've got another PlayStation 1, not complete, and a PS2. So, that's just one box of this stuff. And this box, there's a box back here. Let me, let me move, put this one down. We've seen that. A whole other box. And it is filled to the brim with cables. There's black, uh, back, nunchuck or whatever. There is multiple Wii remotes in here. There's PlayStation 1. Um, there's third-party controllers for Mad Cats and stuff. There is 360 controllers. There's also, this one's kind of has some crap on the side, but 
There is like some exclusive, I think it's in that bag. There's like some special edition controllers and stuff. Stuff I've never seen. Uh, Xbox 360 power, like all the power cords, I think four of these systems. Um, I literally could not even get through all this. I just kind of browsed it and went, I'm keeping a tally in my head of knowing what the stuff is worth. Um, PlayStation, the, like the Wii remotes, I saw like multiple of those in there. 360 contr 360's consoles, there's a 120 gig Xbox 360. It looked pretty good condition. There wasn't stuff broken. There's usually stuff flaps and stuff broken. Uh, like this one has the, this one's kind of pushed in, but they're really usually like broken off. Then have the hard drive, 360 slim. Yeah, 360 slim. The mat 360, I remember that, never had that one. Um, and then they had, okay. That's for the other one I didn't talk about. I had, <laughs> at the one place that kept on giving, um, they had tons of these loose action figures. I got some Power Ranger stuff here. There was an old Transformer. Um, and these were all a quarter or 50, I think they were 50 cents a piece. And I think they were a quarter. Yeah, these were all an old X-Men and some Five Nights at Freddy stuff, an old G.I. Joe. I think this is an old He-Man. I could be wrong that was in there, so just tons of cool stuff at that last cell. So, sorry, that's the ghost of that last cell is still invading all this other stuff. There are tons, so like, look at this, this 360, or no, this original Xbox special edition. Um, I don't even know what game that is. Uh, I don't know what that is, but special edition Xbox controller. Tons of Xbox One controllers in there, cables. It's gonna take me eight billion years to go through that, but, you're probably saying, for 300 bucks, what the frick? Like, that's probably still a good deal for all these 360 systems, the complete PS1, the PS2, the PS whatever. Pretty good deal. What she told me was, she said, I got it in over my head. I didn't know exactly what I was buying. So I knew the value of what some of these are and seeing how deep some of these cables and stuff, and I can use that forever to like, to pair with systems or whatever else. I said, what? I, I actually came back down there, so I'm still going through it, but something, I told you, something caught my eye. What was it? In there, there was rock band stuff, which people are killing themselves over right now. Old rock band, the, the guitar, the drums, whatever, there was a mic, whatever. And I said, hey, are you getting rid of that too? And she said, I haven't um, gone through that, but yes, you can look through that too. I just don't, I need to actually look for it, through it before whatever. Look through it. It's a complete all the rock band stuff. It's in good condition. It has the game with it as well. Like it has all that in the setup. So I went down there and I said, hey, I looked at everything. Would you throw in the rock band stuff for the 300? And she agreed. I felt really good about that. With the rock band stuff, that's probably worth 200 right there on its own. And again, there is so much deep in this box of cables mixed up with nice controllers and stuff. I can use this stuff forever. Um, it's gonna take me forever to also process it and go through all of it, but very happy. Like there's an Xbox, like the old remote stuff, the old headset stuff in there, the cables. Very extremely happy. So again, I came right from there. Um, while they were loading this in, my car is squealing um, with, uh, it actually wasn't squealing, but it, it mentally was squealing because it, I was packed to the brim. The guys that were helping, oh, this is a Halo 2 headset. I just realized that. that's what it says. That's why it's all green or whatever. There's a Halo 2 headset. I'm going to pull that out and look at that. Halo 2 headset. Pretty cool. Um, can't play Halo 2 online anymore, but, you know. But they were bringing this stuff out, and, they, and the guy was like, you need a truck, which couldn't argue with him on that one. Uh, so I probably need a truck. So that was the second sale. That... Almost concludes the day of video game stuff. But there was one other smaller stuff that I was pretty happy with when I got there. And I'll show that to you now. Transition. Next cell. Again, I'm like, this cannot get any better this day. This is crazy. But let's go to this other yard cell outside the community cell. We got out of the community cell. I, I loaded up. I felt like I had to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Went through all the houses. Great time there. Went to this place where it was a husband and wife, and you know what? They were uh, weebs like myself. I was very happy to see that when you uh, go to a yard sale, see that stuff, because like, I'm really interested in stuff. Boom. First thing I see, 
these old mangas. I actually used to have these and I sold these, so I'm mixed on if I want to actually sell these because I used to have the Dot .hack Legend of the Twilight mangas. I think they only did three. I think they did more. I could be wrong. Does it say the end at the end? Um, maybe it did. Maybe it's over. Yeah, maybe, this, maybe they only did three because I only remember having three as well. Got those. Um, I think they wanted... I, I forget what I got for all of these. Um, oh, it was a buck a piece for all of these. But whenever I find mangas, mangas are a good thing to pick up there. So I got more of these. I got Dragon Ball Z. I got some Shaman King here mangas. And they also had... This is my favorite manga of all time, the uh, London manga. Uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, but I thought that was pretty cool. I think I uh, asked if she'd do a dollar piece on that as well. Um, I think she did two, or did she do... What'd she do for that? Um, no, she went down to two for that. It had three on it, but two bucks for hardcover Deathly Hollows. thought that was a good deal. And they had Nintendo Land for a buck for the Wii U. thought that was a good deal. I went over the plushes. Love to see, uh, we got some Naruto pluses, pl plushes here. I think that's Naruto, yep. Naruto plush here. Wanted to make sure, because yeah, Axel is here at the Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, still had the tag on it. Good old Axel there. We had a Kalfari plush. These are the old 90s plushes. I actually had this one I'm about to show you right here. I used to have this Meowth uh, plush. Pokemon, and then I'm a sucker. I'm uneducated with Magic the Cards, so what did I do? Uh, I actually got these for 10 bucks. I had a five bucks a piece on them. He ended up doing 10 for all three. Thank you, man at the yard sale. Did I get some good cards, or did I get everyone's scrap? Probably everybody's scrap, but who knows? Uh, I'll tell you one card out of this. It's probably a super rare. Blind Blast. Bet you haven't got Blind Blast, so there's a more Magic cards there. I have so much Magic cards. I cannot wait for uh, my friend to come over and say, you wasted all this money. You're a dummy. But that was the next sell. Um, I think I got some other, other stuff, of course, not video game related there, and called it a day. So a week goes by. Yeah, a whole week goes by. I am like, I have all this stuff. I'm still on cloud nine. I'm like, I don't really want to go. Oh, I was really busy that Friday. That's what it was. And then that Saturday, the following Saturday, I saw something on Facebook. And it was a lady that had an iPod um, in one of the pictures. They said they were having a yard sale and it was going on Friday, Saturday, whatever. And I was like, okay, it's already been going on for two days. Um, and I was like, okay. And I, I messaged and I said, is this still for sale? Because I don't know if she did the Saturday was the blowout sale or just trying to get rid of stuff. So is that still available? I said, oh yeah, the iPod's still there. It's iPod Nano. Now, I am collecting old Apple gear, like computers and stuff like that, and I'm building a new collection of Apple stuff, but my rule is I have to find it at yard sales. I have to get this stuff from yard sales, and I didn't, again, this is another haul thing, but my mom actually messaged me and said, hey, this is a month or two ago, and said, hey, there's an old iMac. There was an old Apple, so you know I like Apple stuff, and I'm trying to build my collection that way. And it was the first-gen iMac, the purple one. I go to the cell, this is a tangent, but to get into the Apple, so you guys know where I'm at in Apple. I get there, and I'm like, how much are you wanting? I get there, I tried to get there early, because I knew that would be gone, because stuff in the pictures, people are going to see that, people are going to want it. There was one other guy, I, I, he's a reseller, I, I, I recognize him. He was there, he was kind of looking around and didn't inquire about the, the Mac or whatever. I go up, and I'm like, hey, how much do you want for this? And... He said, 10 bucks. I said, mm, yeah, I'll take it for 10 bucks because I've been dying to have that. That's what I grew up with in fifth grade was to get the, uh, uh, or that was the first Apple computer I used. I thought I was in freaking the future using those clear iMacs, uh, those C3 iMacs with the coolest freaking thing back then with the hockey puck mouse. But so happy to have that in my freaking collection. And... So again, I'm buying this stuff. I'm finding iPods and stuff. I'm trying to complete my collection of all these, like the old iPods, the old Apple computers. I'm into all that stuff. I'm actually going today to pick up the old Apple Pro the, or the Mac Pros, the cheese grater looking ones um, for a good deal on, on Marketplace. That's how I'm doing it. Marketplace, all these local yard sales. I'm not going on eBay and just buying it. 
I think it's fun. It's more fun. I'm having a lot more fun treasure hunting for this stuff. Back to the main story. Going off on a tangent. I asked the lady. She said, yes, iPod is still here. I said, cool. I said, you would, excuse me, I wouldn't, you wouldn't happen to have more Apple stuff or video games. And she said, I don't know on the video games, but let me check on the Apple stuff or whatever and just head here and uh, let me know when you get here, whatever. Transition, because this is unreal. This is unbelievable. So get there. I do, in fact, see the iPod. It's a silver iPod Nano, a four gig. Did not have that in my collection. I was looking to get this. This is actually my first, I think this is the second gen, because they made like a, a, another fatter one. The second or third gen. This was my first, not this color, it was, it was a blue color one. It was my first iPod I ever owned. It was the first Apple product I ever owned because growing up, just could not afford Apple stuff. My, I just, this wasn't happening in my parents' budget. God love them. I literally got all the video game stuff I wanted, but Apple stuff had a premium that um, it is never, I, I was too spooked to ask or they just never had it. But I love my parents, like, let that be known. But Apple was way out of the question. Premium product. But I got one and I loved this thing. I had so much music on this stuff. I loved it. So I was very happy to get that back in my collection. And I said, uh, does that come with it? Is that the separate thing? And she's like, oh, that comes with it. Or I think I only picked this up. And she's like, no, grab the speaker thing. So I have a speaker kind of setup thing too. And it was only five bucks for that. And I was very happy with that. So I, she said, what did you ask about before? And I said, uh, video games. He said, I think my son has some that he just he wants to get rid of. Let me go ask him. He's in there a little bit. I'm kind of sitting around about to buy this or whatever. And she comes out. She says, yeah, he's got some video game stuff. Are you, you wanted Apple stuff too, right? I said, yeah. So she brings out, I think this is the first thing she brought out. She's like, well, let me ask him about the games stuff too. She brings out, this is an old iPhone. It says it's the 3G. I never see the other one. Um, Oh no, it's an iPod Touch. So this is an iPod Touch, um, older one, and I think this is the iPad 2. Um, now, when you're reselling or buying the stuff, again, this is I'm doing these more for collection purposes of the Apple stuff, uh, or I'm reselling to buy more of stuff that I don't have. You have to be careful. And she even was asking about it. She was like, "Hey, make sure you wipe my settings and stuff." Here's the issue. With the older ones, you can very easily. I said, yeah, like with the, if it's older iPod or iPad or whatever, I can do it. Because he said she didn't have the original password, all that stuff. Like, fine. Uh, the newer stuff, you have to make sure you get the person from the yard sale to clear, to put in their password and clear it out actually there at the sale. Because Apple's made it to where you can't use the phone at all. There's no resetting at all. And that is like locked. It's literally just for parts at that point. Um, the older stuff you can, if it's not been updated to the update to where that bricks everything, if you don't have the password, you can easily reset these still, the older stuff. So she had these two she, and she was like, you want a video games, right? Came back with this ginormous, huge tub. I'm going to like, uh, move it up here in a second just so you can see the whole thing, but I'll try to... <laughs> Like, I'll look down into this tub because it's so ungodly full of stuff. But they... Let me see if I can find it. Where did it go? I've lost it. I've lost it. I'm going to lose my mind. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Brings out this. There are tons of PS3 and PS2 games in there. But when she opens this up, she's like, is this stuff... Sorry, you can't see my freaking face. You just see me screaming. She says, is this the kind of stuff you're into? Now, if you know me, and you watched my last Game Room Tour video, this is going deep into the Dweebo lore. I've been dying to get, and I still there's still a caveat with this, the DSi XL. People were wanting like 250 for those or whatever, complete in box. And I really wanted the blue one. I thought it looked cool. I want it for my collection. I have a nice display case. I want to put it in there so bad, but it's just too pricey. She unzips this thing. She's like, oh yeah, he's got the systems. He got this. What do I see staring back at me? That blue DSi XL. And she lifted it up and it was in, I mean, when you have a case like this, I usually keep it in good condition. This doesn't have any major dents or scratches on the screen. That's the DSi XL I was looking for. But my poker face was on. 
But they have Mario Kart. They've got some D other DS games in there. They got Scribble Knots, and we got Batman, Lego Batman, or whatever. But I've been looking for this for so long. Now I still want the box. Maybe I can go on eBay and get the box still. I was so happy to see that we've got these other DS games. And when he she brought this out, so there, that's just an empty case. Um, there's other yeah. There's more stuff in here. I Spy Mario vs. or yeah, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I don't even know what else is in here. Um, Mario Luigi's Bowser Inside Story. I think I actually saw the cases in that for here. They're all just loose in these, but you just got to put them back in the case. Um, but yeah, these nice cases and stuff for them. But, and then not only that, but they also, and I think this one's a little bit more beat up, but it's still pretty good. It has this kind of case on it. Um, so I think, and then put on the sticker. I hate when they put on the sticker, but this is a DS Lite. Um, there, I think it has a game in it. Yep, Super Mario Brothers, new Super Mario Brothers is there. But had all this with a case on it and all this crap. Uh, DS Lite. I never see this. So I just want to also reconfirm with you guys what I'm talking about that I never, ever come across this stuff. But I want to pick up the thing for just a second to show you all that's going on here. But this is the, the entire, this entire freaking... And I started going through this, and there's still some, like, good games in here. There's still some cheaper, like, kind of shovelware stuff. But there's Skate 3. There's all these. There's the Chargers for the DS. Um, the 3DSs, whatever. Um, the Bowser's Inside Story. That's a great freaking game. Oh, my Lord. I just saw... <laughs> I just saw Pokemon Black. I wonder if there's other Pokemon stuff in here. I, I didn't see that before. So, that, like I said, this is another cell where I'm digging deep, but there's, like, I can't go through it all. I'm stoked about that Pokemon. Um, but I started going through all this. There's all this, these games, PS3. It's this guy's entire collection. He's like, yeah, I just don't want it anymore. This is a PS1 controller here. Um, but it just goes, there's Uncharted down there. There's Insom or, uh, Infamous. There's other DS games, the, the cases for what you saw earlier. But this entire freaking thing is full. This entire um, tub is full um, of these games. I couldn't even get to the bottom of them because I was like taking out so many games. Um, what else is in here? I don't know if there's anything else to Call of Duty. There's like a map to something. I don't know what that is. I think that's Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2 is down there. So it's this entire PS2 or PS3 collection stuff. Stoked about that. I just noticed. Let's open up. I mean, it might be in the freaking uh, case. Let's open this up. See if it's complete. Okay, yeah, it's it's loose in one of those carts. But she said all of that stuff's in there. Uh, still, the case is cool, but it, it's in one of those things. Um, uh, they have several of those loose things. They just kept them in cases. But oh, so stoked about that. But it wasn't even. It's not even over. Um, so she puts. She comes back out. She says, I found other. I found some more stuff. Are you interested in this? And there is a Game Boy Color. This is just the carrier. An Xbox Remote. There's some loose Game Boy games, Rugrats, um, some Looney Tunes stuff. I'm not sure what else is in there. Mermaid Pinball, whatever. Again, I haven't checked through all this stuff yet. Memory card, but then a Sega Genesis. Again, this is like shock level. You never find this stuff. Um, a Sega Genesis console with the cables and the hookup, and there's the freaking power thing back there. Um, yeah, there's the power thing right there, but all these loose games. Um, depending on for Skater, I played that one as a kid, the, the loose one, or for Game Boy Color, not the loose one, Game Boy Color one. Um, so, let's talk price, let's talk final details of this haul right here. I'm looking at this tub, I'm looking at this stuff. And, and she has no price in mind. She was like, I was like, do you, do you know what you would want for it? And she's like, what would you give it for me? So this is where it gets weird. Like, you know, what are they willing to take? Whatever. You, you never, here's another tip. You always want them to say a price first and you can work from there. Like, hey, it's way out of my price range. Or, yeah, yes. Usually, sometimes it's like, yeah, I'll immediately take that deal because it's freaking uh, an incredible deal. But I, the ball was in my court. I had to say a price. So I'm looking down at this. Some of the stuff looked like shovelware, but I knew the freaking DS and stuff were good. So you might, this is where you might hate me, but again, I wanted to see what the barometer, what were they willing to get this out of the house with? 
Because the other problem that the kid was like, get this crap out because he's wanting to use the garage. They're not able to use their garage right now. So I had that in mind too, because the, the kid wants it gone, whatever. He's trying to get rid of this crap, whatever. Okay. So I shot out 50 bucks just to see what the barometer was. <laughs> 50 bucks. And they bounce back and like, um, could you do 75? So there's two ladies. It was like the, the, the mother of this kid and, and her friend or whatever. And it's like, would you do 75? And said, yeah, I could do 75. Thinking that was the end of the, the, the discussion. And the lady's like, um, would you do 100? And I'm like, God almighty, we're going to keep going all day on this. Like, uh, I'll come up to 75, but say your next price, whatever. So I sat on it. And that's a good, that's a good uh, little tactic too, is to sit and wait and see what, See who uh, bends first. So on that thing, I'm good to go 75. I'll give you an extra 25 bucks. So I waited a second. And then she says, I'll take 75. That'll, that'll be good. So for the iPod, the iPad stuff, this, the, the 3DS, um, or the DS, sorry, not the 3DS. Um, and this was separate or whatever, the iPod. But for 75 bucks, incredible, incredible deal. And she said, I don't think that's it. I think there's more. Can I, can I just message you or you message me in a week? Because of Facebook or, or when I messaged about the iPod, you still got my information? Yeah. Okay. And I had to go on vacation or whatever. And I said, I'll just, I'll hit you up or whatever when I get back because I'm whatever. Okay. I'll try and find some more stuff. I think I found some more stuff for you. Cool. Came back from vacation, and my God, it wasn't even over. So I paid three thousand dollars for this Bengals. I'm just kidding. Uh, there's that. There is a PS3 remote, but that's not what you're here for. Not only did he have more stuff, he had some great stuff. He had a PlayStation 2 Slim console. He had a Nintendo 64. Um, I, I didn't know if there was a, the controller. Yeah, there was an old like third-party controller in here. I don't know if they had that. Yep, they have a yellow um, Nintendo 64 controller here with it. There are some PS2 games. And not only that, there was a PS3. <laughs> oh, also said some games, and there was Pilot Wings in there and Super Mario 64, great titles uh, to find. A PS3, the one where you had the ugly one, the only, the ugliest freaking PlayStation system they ever released. The PlayStation 3, I wish I could get it out of here. Um, the PlayStation 3 that had the, I can't freaking see it, the one with the ugly thing. This. The top loader. Oh, I just, I, or no, it slides, even uglier. Jeez, I hate that system. But that was in there. And then a PlayStation 1 uh, regular, uh, regular, PS1 in there, along with 8 billion controllers. There's like 8,000 of these PS2, PS3. I'll bring it up here just for a second, just so you guys can see here. So here's the whole haul. Just might be a little bit easier to see. There's Super Mario 64, the gold PlayStation 3 remote. The freaking ugliest PlayStation 3, but I might keep that as like a collector's thing because I don't have that one. Um, and a drill, a trillion, trillion cables and stuff like that. There's the N64 stuff. Uh, and then there's some extra like a keyboard and a mouse in there I didn't want as well. So very happy. And then again, the, the Bengals thing I paid $8 million for. This time I came back. So it was mostly games or whatever. I was able to get that $75 price there. Asked a little bit more on Facebook. She said... He's won 250 for it all. Now, everything's negotiable in life. You've got to remember that. That's a, that's a key. You can hear me well. A key lesson. So I said, would you take 180 for it? I still thought that was fair. I was kind of pushing. I was kind of pushing a little bit to see where, where she was on what she was needing for that. It, it, it was actually her son she was selling. Right when I said 180, she said he'd be happy with that. He'd be, he'd be happy with 180. So I don't know if she had a, like a low number... Um, planned, but that is the end of this crazy 
October two week phenomenon. I will maybe do more of these if you guys want to see more of these hauls and what I'm able to pick up and find. I do want to let you know that this is an abnormal. Uh, this is anomaly. Anomaly. This is an anomaly. It's not the right word, but you understand what I'm trying to speak in English to you. Uh, this is not my normal weekend. This is not my normal weekends. And I just want to say that uh, I love doing this. I love the treasure hunt. I love, again, I'm trying to find those Apple things, all those um, devices in the wild. And some of these games, some of the stuff I'm keeping for my own collection, that Commodore, I think I might end up keeping because it's such a cool relic. And it is added to it that you can find it out in the wild. Now, when I was collecting 2013, 2014, the market was a little crazy. But now it is absolutely unattainable in some regards. I would say for Super Nintendo stuff, complete in box. And some of those loose games even. Some of that stuff, I don't know. It's, it's, it's bypassing being obtainable by most people. I was able to buy some of that stuff on eBay back in the day when I was completing my collection from my childhood. I really wanted games. I had my first big boy job. But finding this stuff is getting harder and harder. There's more people flipping. There's more people out there doing this, but they, you can still find it. Like, this is proof. Now, I will say, again, it took me two years to find something this mega of a deal going out weekend after weekend. And another thing I want to say, if, if this kind of inspires you to go out and do your own, like, oh, I want a video game hunt or whatever, I've gone out before on some weekends, and I come back with one cool hat after being out there for two hours and not finding anything. And that's the normality that you're not seeing these videos. You would never watch me do, a, 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 even if I took a freaking camera out there, you never watch me go and I say, oh, I just found a cool fort today. But that's a lot of the days. Um, that's a lot of, that's some of the, that's some of the days you go out, especially when you're going to Goodwill and all these other places. You're sometimes going to strike out. Uh, it's not every time I bring home whatever. Now, I usually do because of I build up this knowledge base of what is worth money, what's not, what's worth whatever finding outside of video game-wise and video game-wise. I'm usually coming home with something, but it's something that, like, I paid five and, oh, it's worth, you know, 25. Now, that, that's a usual occurrence. That's kind of more usual. That's not too hard. But video game stuff, I'm always asking. You got any more video? You got any video game stuff? Yeah, I have um, Madden for Wii. That's that's 95 percent of it. Oh, I got this game for Wii, and it's a broken Wii, and they're wanting 80 dollars for it. That's the other thing is more people are becoming aware that this stuff is very very valuable, and for collectors, and they're pricing. If you go on Facebook Marketplace, it's usually on eBay prices or on. Often I see more. More expensive than eBay, and those it's like I don't know what you're thinking here, bro. But all that to be said, I wanted to show you guys I was excited about this haul. Two years going at it, I've not found something this level. I found video game stuff, I found a console. I did find a you know, last month, two months ago, I found a PlayStation 3 backwards compatible um, console. I was really stoked about that. It was also in the listing. That's the thing, too. As my parents have had to instill this into me because they, she was the one that sent it to me. My mom was browsing Craigslist, said, "Hey, look, there's a PS3." And she, it was the morning. I, I was Saturday. I wasn't feeling like going. I was like, "It's not worth it." And then I see that text where my mom shows the picture, and I said, "Well, because the picture is on the listing, you're gonna have people there 20 minutes before it starts trying to fight over this thing. It's not worth it." She was like, you "Never know until you try." And I was like, "Whatever." I went out there an hour after it opened. It was kind of spit and rain that day. I think that's what kind of spooked people away, maybe, from the sales that day. Went there. They still had that freaking PlayStation 3, and they had a great price on it. I paid 80 bucks for that thing. Amazing, incredible. I think I actually talked her down to, like, 70 uh, bucks. I think she had 85 or something on it. But, again, you never know unless you try. You're going to strike out more times than you hit these freaking, this amazing haul. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've rambled on for too long. This is going to be a very long video. I don't know if you'll watch it, but if you do, like and subscribe if you want more of this stuff. I used to do more of these thrifting videos, and I haven't. And I've gotten more into, of course, thrifting in the past two years. So maybe I'll start doing this when I find more video game, anime-related, cool stuff that I find. Maybe other stuff. So um, we'll see.
and more thrifting tips maybe too. But thank you guys for watching. Very blessed, very lucky to have found this incredible haul. This is an anomaly, as they say. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.